Coming up next on Auto Show TV, Victoria Moran checks out the 2014 Nissan Versa Note at Anchor Nissan. We get the full walk around of the popular Honda CRV. Also, some straight talk about tires from Jim Melvin. We check in on the renovations at Bald Hill Kia. And even some Patriots predictions from a few of our car guys. All that and more next on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, I'm John Coletto. Thanks for checking us out today on Auto Show TV. You know, a lot of folks as they're shopping for cars are looking for practicality, something small but roomy, something that gives great gas mileage but also has some pep. And here at Anchor Nissan, I think we found just the vehicle. Good morning, I'm Victoria Moran. Today, we visit Anchor Nissan, where Auto Intelligence presents a strong contender in the subcompact class, the 2014 Nissan Versa Note. The Versa Note is the five-door hatchback cousin to the Versa sedan. For a subcompact, it has a roomy interior, including an adult-friendly back seat. The Note base model is a five-speed, but it also comes with an automatic CVT transmission. It's front-wheel drive, provides up to 40 miles per gallon highway, and boasts a robust list of available technology options. So let's learn more about the Versa Note here at Anchor Nissan, Auto Show TV's Nissan experts. Today we have Eric joining us. Eric, the Versa Note is so adorable. Why don't you tell us a little more about it? Sure, well the new Versa Note, uh, one of the famous things about this car is the fuel economy. You're at 40 miles per gallon with a combined fuel economy of 35 miles per gallon. For such a compact car, it's got a very deceiving amount of room. There's a ton of headroom. It's got the best in class for the rear leg room. So it really does give you a, a lot of bang for your buck. Right, now I know that this is the, the middle model. What other models are there to choose from? Above the SV model, there's also an SR and there's an SL model. Uh, there is available navigation, uh, around view monitors, so you can see all four sides of your vehicle while you're parking or parallel parking. So it, it really helps out a lot if you do a lot of inner city driving uh, so you, that you're not hitting curbs when you're parallel parking. Right. You can see in front of you, back of you, left and right. So it gives you a really good shot of getting in there without doing any harm to your little Versa. Right, good. <laughs> now when it comes to subcompact cars, a lot of buyers are concerned about you know the horsepower and its peppiness. How does the Versa Note compare to others? Well, the Versa Note has a 1.6 liter engine. Uh, it has 109 horsepower. Having the CVT transmission, it really can get out of its own way, um, but having the smaller engine is gonna increase that fuel economy um, best in its class. Right. So here we are in the back, in the, uh, the hatchback. There's a little lever right on the back to pop her open. You'll also notice right on the bottom there is a divide and hide floor, so it's a little secret compartment. You can put some different, area, different things back there, you know, jumper cables, anything like that. You can also remove this and you can bring it into different, different spots if you wanted to bring it all the way down. Also the 60-40 split seats. When you flip these forward, you've got over 38 cubic feet of room for storage, any kind of sports gear, things like that. You can really pack the, the note up with a, a bunch of uh, stuff. Right, it's a lot of room. Yep. So one thing that you're going to notice while you're inside the Versa is all the technology that the Note does come with. There's available backup cameras, uh, around view monitors, navigation systems, uh, streaming audio via Bluetooth. There's also the Pandora radio that you can set up your account for. So there is a lot of technology that's not usually available in the small compact categories of these vehicles. Here you go, Victoria, why don't you fire this up? One thing you're going to notice right away is your center display. It's, it's very sporty. It's very easy to read with the, the white lights. Um, some other things that you'll notice too ergonomically makes it very easy to use is your um, audio buttons that are over here on the side as well as your Bluetooth hands-free. With the Bluetooth hands-free, you can also receive and listen to your text messages and send out preset text messages that are already loaded up in the car. So safety features are really everywhere in this car. Another thing that you might want to check out too is the rear view monitor. Mm -hmm. There's different, different rear view monitors that are available for different trim levels. This one just has the one that's going to be in the back. 
The other one when you have the navigation system is, is gonna be the around view monitor. It'll actually show you what's in front, what's in back, left and right of you. Some other things too I'll sure that you notice is how much headroom, legroom that you do have in the little compact note. I mean, I'm a big tall guy and I fit comfortably in this, in this car and I have more than enough room. Yeah, you don't look cramped at all. No, <laughs> not even a little bit. Yeah. And even in the back seats, there's plenty of leg room no matter what height you are. These are connectors for your USB and auxiliary inputs for any kind of phones or iPhones, anything like that. If you have your iPhone hooked up into here or an iPod, you can actually control your playlist right from the steering wheel, oh. which makes it a nice feature so you're not scrolling around while you're driving. So I've also found that you know, the customers that are being drawn to this car are anywhere from 20 years old to 80 years old. It's a very diverse uh, amount of different kind of people that are getting it, whether they're just looking for good fuel economy or something really easy to drive, or they might be just looking for a really sharp looking car. You'll notice that when you see the interior design on these notes. Well, Eric, looking out here across the lot, I've noticed that you have a ton of variety of notes to choose from, different models everything, different colors even. Yep. So what's going on here at Anchor this week? Well, we have a huge variety of inventory, including the Versa Notes, many varieties of trim levels, colors. Uh, Anchor is also um, giving a lifetime assurance program. It's a, a warranty program that increases your powertrain warranty for the life of the car. As long as you own it, however many years down the road, however many miles you put on it, it'll be covered. That's a great perk. It's something that nobody else is doing, so we're really happy that we're able to offer that to our customers. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. Joined by Jim Melvin Jr., we're into fall now, so this is a good time to talk about tires and thinking about winter. What should people be thinking about now as far as tires? John, as always, the most important thing to do with tires is air pressure. You can look inside the door, see what your air pressure is, maintain proper air pressure. If you're not familiar with how to do it, stop by any one of our locations. We will check your air at any given time for you. And with the newer cars, with the, the sensor now, the, the yellow light, the sensor, yes. those are very accurate, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. People always say, oh, this, this crazy light's on. It must be a mistake. It's generally not a mistake. If that light's on, you're losing air out of one of your tires. Now, uh, winter tires, there's winter tires, there's snow tires, there's summer tires, and there's a, why don't you just get an all-season tire and call it a day? Well, all-season tires are by far the most popular product we sell. It's something that, uh, you know, is a mix of seasons. You can run it year-round. But what happens with winter tires as opposed to all-season tires is, let's say you don't even have snow. Where a winter tire comes in is the compounding of the rubber is far different from an all-season tire. So let's say the temperature drops below 40 degrees and you're in a black ice situation. The tire is going to grip better, it's going to get better traction, braking distances will be uh, substantially changed by that just because of the different compounding of the rubber. So, you know, driving in New England, winter tires are always a good idea because it is going to be a far superior product even without the snow. So it really is from a safety standpoint, it's worth summer tires and winter tires versus all season? It's an enormous difference, enormous difference, yes. All right, if you have any other questions, on it, and you may, here's the guy to ask, Jim Melvin Jr. at Tire Pros. Where buying tires is never a hassle. Next, we look at one of the most popular vehicles in America. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. If you are looking for a pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, look no further than Majestic Honda. At Majestic Honda, we have over 150 pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from, with pricing starting at $69.83. And as always, our vehicles come with a no-charge lifetime powertrain warranty. Majestic South on Route 2 in West Warwick, or Majestic North on Route 146 in Lincoln. Or visit us online at MajesticHonda.com for special internet pricing. The most trusted brand from the most trusted dealer, Majestic Honda. 
Hi, I'm Jim Melvin from Melvin's Tire Pros, celebrating 40 years of family-owned service excellence. We've been Southern New England's premier tire retailer offering fast, competent service. At Melvin's Tire Pros, everything rotates around you. We guarantee the lowest price on all brands of tires, but you'll also get fast, in-and-out service while you wait. All backed by the industry's strongest warranty, featuring free roadside assistance. Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires is never a hassle. Next time you fake wearing your seatbelt, remember this. Cops have been trained to spot seatbelt violations even at night. And they don't give out fake tickets. Day or night, click it or ticket. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard in pre-owned vehicles. Here's Auto Show TV's news and notes for Sunday, September 7th. The renovations at Bald Hill Kia on Route 2 in Warwick are continuing along as planned. According to Bob Petraka, the exterior facade is getting reconstructed and the showroom is receiving a completely new look from floor to ceiling. Bald Hill Kia is open during the renovations and they expect to complete the project in a few weeks. Chrysler is on quite the winning streak. As Jeep benefits from consumers' renewed attraction to SUVs, the company has also been aided by strong demand for Ram pickups and town and country minivans. That helped propel its U.S. sales up 12% in August, the largest increase of any major automaker, according to Bloomberg. This is Chrysler's 53rd straight month of rising sales, after almost being given up for dead, as we remember back in 2009. The redesigned 2015 Cadillac Escalades are gorgeous, and they've arrived at dealers to rave reviews. Locally, Herb Chambers Cadillac in Warwick has had some, but as General Manager Neil Ferrara says, most of them are sold before they even arrive at the Route 2 dealership. This fourth generation Escalade starts at $72,000 and goes from there. It is pure luxury and all you'd expect from Cadillac. news from the folks who keep track of these kinds of things. For the first time, Americans are buying and leasing more SUVs and crossovers than sedans. Who would have thought that 10 or 15 years ago? Now most car makers have several SUV and crossover models to choose from. To find out more, we've come here to Majestic Honda in Lincoln. We're with Casey Martin, one of our Auto Show TV go-to experts and certainly our Honda expert. So are you surprised by this news that Crossovers and SUVs are outperforming sedans. Um, not really. We've, kind of, we've seen the trend for the last few years where people really like the utility of the SUV. And since now, most of them are all car-based. They're getting the safety, the reliability, and the fuel economy as a vehicle versus the original SUVs from 20 years ago, which were all truck-based. And is this trend also something that you see here at Majestic? Absolutely. Uh, we, uh, sales of CRVs have always been strong, but now they're actually surpassing the Civic and Accord some months. And again, the biggest contributing factor is the technology's gotten so good, but the fuel economy increase has been the key. Years ago, when you were getting 13, 14 miles a gallon with the SUV, it wasn't the most efficient vehicle to own. But now we're getting into the mid to high, even high 20s on the highway, which is amazing for a vehicle of this quality and technology. Yeah. Years ago, there was an SUV buyer and there was this, uh, a sedan buyer, and that's not the case anymore. Every day we see people come in, they want to test drive a sedan, and an SUV uh, to compare because the uh, added visibility, the being a little higher up and the yeah. utility of having the extra cargo space not on top of the all-wheel drive system that's available makes them a real popular choice. And for the first half of 2014, the number one selling SUV slash crossover is this guy right here, the CRV. So why is this so popular? Why does everybody love it? 
Well, there's many reasons. Uh, since they redesigned the vehicle in 2012, they finally added a lot of the newer technology buyers are looking for. Um, they come standard, even in the lowest model, with the backup camera, with the USB connectivity for their, for their music, with Bluetooth technology for wireless talking of, uh, using the cell phone. On top of that, uh, it's rated extremely high in safety, fuel economy, number one in resale value, uh, and it's just a great all-around vehicle. So let's take a closer look. Take us around and uh, you know, show us some more. Absolutely. Another feature that people tell us is important to them with the SUVs is the actual ease of getting in and out of the vehicle. Some people uh, have back problems. Um, and sure. You'll notice is the seat height is very close to your hip height. So someone who might have a back problem, it's very easy to just spin and get in and out of the vehicle without getting too low to the ground like a traditional sedan. You'll notice almost all of the SUVs now no longer have the tire on the back. Right. You know, and one of the main contributing reasons for that is the amount of damage the car would sustain in a minor fender bender. When the tire was on the back, if you were just touched up against something, because you had a solid tire and rim, it would actually push the whole hatch in. So almost all the manufacturers decided that it was much better to have the spare inside the vehicle instead of on the outside. Yeah. Give us the demonstration here, Case. Sure. As you can see, there's a lot of room inside the vehicle. Um, this is with the seats, of course, folded up right now, so you have a traditional five-passenger vehicle. But just look at the height and the depth you yep. have to store lots of cargo. Yep. Um, all of them do come with, the, well, the EX model and above come with the sunshade here, too, which is more or less a security shade. Uh, so when the, this is closed, you can't see the cargo underneath. So if you have an expensive set of golf clubs or something of value, the people on the outside cannot see it. Yeah. And I noticed that this, this part of the back is almost straight up and down. It just gives you that little bit of extra storage back here, right? Exactly. And that was the, one of the things they've changed is they, they used to be a little angled more. Right. Uh, the downside to that is, of course, you lose some cargo capacity. So by having the height higher up here before it tilts, you have that depth. Sure. It gives you a lot more space. Yep. And then you've got your 60-40 split. Absolutely correct. Here's the 40 and there's the 60. And they've changed it. So now all you have to do is pull the handle here the seat will fold down all by itself. And of course, the shade is removable, so if you need all that space with both down, you can see there's a lot of potential storage. Yep, and the spare tire's down here. Yep. It folds right up, and there the spare go. tire, not only, the other advantage to the spare tire being inside, it's clean. So if right. you do have to change a tire, you now don't have a dirty tire on the outside, or like a lot of SUVs that's stored underneath the vehicle. Well, after many years of salt and dirt, it tends to get either rusted or becomes, um, very dirty to work yeah. with. <laughs> and Casey, I think one of the other maybe misconceptions about the SUV category, particularly with the, the Honda CRV, is that, well, they must not be very fuel economical, but they are, aren't they? Yeah, they have, and they've really come a long way. And this model now, with the 14 CRVs, is actually rated at 30 miles per gallon on the highway, which when you consider it's all wheel drive and all the utility you get from the vehicle, it's really amazing. How do they do it? Well, the technology keeps getting better and better. Um, they've gotten more efficient engines, more efficient transmissions, and they've been able to raise the gas mileage from what used to be mediocre to excellent. This model is the EX with the cloth interior, but they have models with leather interior, models with navigation, and there's also a lot of other options you can add to the vehicle, like the roof rails with crossbars, so you can add even more cargo capacity to the top of the vehicle. Yep. And why should people come here to Majestic? I think I know the reason, but, <laughs> but I want you to tell the viewers. Well, besides me, of course, Majestic's <laughs> been here 40 years. Uh, we're the oldest Honda dealership, in, oldest and original Honda dealership in Rhode Island. We have two great locations for your convenience, West Warwick, uh, southern part of Rhode Island, and of course here in Lincoln in the northern part of the state. Um, great place to come buy a vehicle. We've got great inventory between both stores and you'll have a great experience here. And August is a great time to buy. Absolutely, it's the uh, Honda Clarence event. Uh, started uh, a couple weeks ago. It's gonna go all the way through the middle of September. We have a lot of 14s still being made and shipped to us, so availability is still excellent. Uh, so it's a great time of year to get the color you want and the price. Now, Auto Show TV's Driving Safety, presented by the Law Office of Attorney Lawrence Signori. I'm Attorney Larry Signori. Please, let's all work together to keep Rhode Island roadways safe. Text messaging. There's just something about the speed and simplicity, but that speed and simplicity can be deceiving when you get behind the wheel. 20-year-old Emmy sent this text message to her boyfriend. I love you too, and I'll try to make you happy. Moments later, Emmy was killed when her car slammed into the back of a tractor trailer. 18-year-old Taylor was also texting when her car slammed into a truck at 80 miles per hour. Her final text? Driving and Facebooking is not safe. Ha ha. 
you probably think that these things could never happen to you. You're not alone. 55% of young adult drivers say it's easy to text and drive. Three quarters of the same young adult drivers feel confident that they are really good at texting behind the wheel. The reality is they are all delusional, and so are you. Drivers who text spend about 10% of their driving time outside their own driving lanes. Texting and driving has now become the leading cause of teen driver death, surpassing even drinking and driving. But if you think dying in a car crash is the worst thing that can happen to you, it's not. You could survive after you kill someone else. Imagine spending the rest of your life knowing you killed someone while you're in prison because that's what's starting to happen all over the country. Think it will never happen to you? That's what Aaron thought right before he killed a father of three. Aaron is one of a growing number of texting drivers who are going to jail. There's another growing group of young people that you should be a part of. Ones who have pledged not to text when they drive. Leave your cell phone alone when you're driving. If you absolutely must send a text, pull off the road or into a parking lot. Anywhere it is safe to use your phone. No text is so important that it's worth your life or someone else's. You aren't different, you aren't special, you're just another accident waiting to happen. Don't text and drive. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. Honda is your destination for a hassle-free car buying experience. Home of the exclusive pre-owned One Price program, our deals are already pre-negotiated and the discounts are already taken off. You just come in and get the best price up front. And right now we have pre-owned Hondas starting at just $83.95. Sakuchi Honda in Middletown or online at Sakuchi.com. The best deal made easy. We're here at Riccardi's Italian Restaurant in Fairhaven. People love all our Italian dishes made the authentic Italian way. But what they don't realize is that here in Fairhaven, we're also noted for our seafood. Our scallops come right off the boat. We have salmon salad, lobster fettuccine, a little necks over linguine. We have fresh haddock, pan seared scallops, a lobster salad. We're Riccardi's Italian restaurant, but folks also love our seafood. Come on in, we'd love to cook for you. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Whether it's a dazzling diamond engagement ring, a heartfelt gift, or something for yourself, come to Hanus Jewelers in Warwick. We carry all the new styles, the most popular brands, and a superb selection of loose diamonds and wedding bands. Grooms-to-be trust Hanus Jewelers in Warwick for our expertise and their peace of mind, because we know you may need some help making just the right selection. Come see why the perfect marriage proposal starts with a spectacular diamond from Hanus Jewelers, Route 2 in Warwick. If you've been in an accident, you need your car fixed quickly and hassle-free, and more importantly, repaired to pre-accident condition. Auto Intelligence provides a list of five-star recommended collision repair shops in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass. These shops utilize the latest technology and industry standards and adhere to our strict code of ethics and business practices. They have earned a place on our recommended list. Automotive information, research, and recommendations. Find it all at autointelligence.org. Back in 1981, my dad, my brother and I started International Motor Group because we had a passion for cars. A lot of people think car buying is stressful, but it doesn't have to be. We handle the financing, no matter what your credit situation. We handle the warranty, and we also get the car registered for you. We keep a wide variety of cars. It's very enjoyable when I can hand the keys to somebody that's buying a car for the first time. Not many people can say they love going to work. I can. 
If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Hey, before we wrap up this morning's show, we take note of the fact that the Patriots are opening their season in just a little bit down in Miami. You'll probably be glued to your TV set this afternoon. Well, we talk to car guys all the time. Car guys know cars. Do they know football? We want to know what the car guys think of the Patriots' upcoming season and also the fact that I still like to talk sports once in a while. Hey, John, what's going on? How you been? So what do you think of the Patriots? They start their season today. Hey, I'm ready. You know, like any other season, it all comes down to one thing, so that's injury. As long as we can stay healthy. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I predict them to be 12 and 4. Grunk's coming back on Sunday. They're going down to Miami. They're going to pull one out, even though it's going to be hot. They can handle the heat. Uh, I think 19 and 0. I think this is their year. They have a lot of good things happening, a lot of weapons, and a lot of uh, healthier plays this year than they were last year. I think it's going 19 and 0 this year. You think they're going to run the table? All, all year. Huh? All season. Well, I'll tell you, I think all roads lead through Denver uh, again this year. I think, uh, looking at the schedule, I think we're probably a 13 3, 14 2 team. 12 and 4, 13 and 3. Kind of just roll right through the division. Well, I am a Dolphins fan, but uh, let's be realistic here. They, Denver and New England have similar problems right now with the injury with Welker's concussion. And, you know, who knows what's going to happen with Gronkowski. You know, there's only so much tread on a tire, John. <laughs> and here at Tire Pros, we know that better than anybody else. I think they look really good. I think with the new revamp defense with Revis and Browner, I think that they're going to look really good as long as Gronk can stay on the field. I see 12 and 4. Oh, Gronk is back. So we got Gronk back. We're all set. I think they're going to be about 13 and 3, 12 and 4. Defense should look a lot better than last year. They got the addition of Revis. And, you know, just like it comes down to every year, defense wins championships. And seeing that this year, the defense with Revis and all the additions, we should be in pretty good shape. Personally, I'm a Miami fan. I'd love to see Miami upset New England, but I think the Dolphins at best are going to be a 500 team, and the Patriots will go deep, but not make it. But the biggest key, just like every year, is getting the home field playoff advantage right throughout. Super Bowl. I think Green Bay is going to make it this year. Oh, it's got to be Seattle. Seattle and the Patriots. Seattle's a strong team. Oh, Super Bowl, huh? Well, I hope it's the Pats and the Seahawks. I'm going to have to say Seattle until somebody proves they can beat Seattle and the uh, NFC. I'm going to have to give them the benefit of the doubt. They're going all the way. Patriots are going to win. We're going to the Super Bowl. And that's the end of it. Bottom line, where the rubber meets the road, who's in the Super Bowl? Here's my Super Bowl pick, and you remember you heard it here. I like New England, Green Bay. We're going to get them back for 96. Dave, Dave, we need some predictions on the Patriots this season. That'll wrap things up this morning on Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto. Have a safe week on the roads. Watch out for motorcycles. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.